Don't worry, be happy, don't worry, be happy now. Oh, it's time now for our last call. You all remember Bobby McFerrin's iconic song that had us all saying, don't worry, be happy. Well, it is one of the 25 new inductees for this year's the Library of Congress's National Recording Registry. It's a long list and it includes artists like ABBA, the Notorious B.I.G., Blondie, salsa icon Hector Laveau, and Mexican superstar Juan Gabriel. Uh, the Librarian of Congress says that the tracks are, quote, worthy of preservation because they shape the cultural history of America. America. The oldest inclusion on that list uh, dates back to 1919. Uh, it's a recording from an early jazz pioneer, Lieutenant James Reese Europe, who led the 369th U.S. Infantry Band. Also, the most recent country act is The Chicks, a 1998 album, Wide Open Spaces. Uh, recordings have to be at least a decade old to make it into the registry. So I want to bring back my panel here. Uh, Elsie, I have to imagine that you have a few favorites here. I do. I am so happy about this list. First of all, she <laughs> needed wide open spaces. I freaking love the chicks. She goes with the chicks. But I did not expect I that. I love the chicks, but I also love Lottie Dottie. We like to party. We don't cause trouble. That's we don't bother so nobody. Good. I'm happy about both of those. <laughs> oh, so good. Also, Barbara, what about you? Well, a lot of people don't realize that the Library of Congress does preserve all this great, you know, cultural uh, material that we have. So it, it is uh, one of these, uh, one more great, you know, thing that the Library of Congress does. Also movies and old movies and a lot of uh, great things like that. So, uh, you know, you can find great things in the Library of Congress. <laughs> I mean, including a rendition of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, right? Let's not forget everything. Uh, Christina, uh, this list spans a lot of music, too, right? Folk, jazz, classical, hip-hop, pop, country, rock and roll. Uh, you have a particular one you're excited about? Um, well, my Mexican side is super excited about Juan Gabriel, but ABBA is actually who I'm very excited about. So in, high, oh, in middle school, I had an obsession with ABBA. I performed a rendition of Waterloo in a talent show. Didn't win, it was very memorable for me. So what ABBA is everything to me. All right, so Mike, right after you call Christina's mom for that video of her middle school performance, uh, could you let me know what your favorite is? I love the American Tapestry of Songs and Catalogs that are in this, but it's actually Lieutenant James Pierce clarinet um, uh, marmalade uh, because of the fact that I've been doing a lot of research for a project I'm working on for the Harlem Hellfighters, so it was really important uh, that their story gets told to as well, that from World War I, we think so much about World War II as a ski airman, uh, but the Harlem Hellfighters yes. had a really significant role um, in World War One, with the most extensive combat. So hopefully America would do more research and learn more about uh, this infantry that does not get enough attention. So a uh, salute uh, to that beautiful, beautiful composer. Oh, that's fascinating. You're gonna have to come on and tell us more about that project once it's wrapped up. I can't wait to hear Mike. All right, that's it for our last call here. LZ, Barbara, Christina, and Mike, thank you so much.